Thank you very much, uh, our Paramount Chief, all protocol observe, uh, organizers of this very important uh, Luo Foundation meeting today. I am called Sheikh Musa Khalil. I am the Vice Chairman of Achille Religious Leaders Peace Initiative. Body that brings us together and has been at the, at the forefront together with the cultural institution for the pacification of Northern Uganda and especially Achille Subregion Lango, Teso and West Nile. I am privileged really be given this opportunity to add something, at least a word to what Archbishop, I mean uh, Bishop Ochola, uh, Bishop Emeritus mentioned and the brief history of how the, the Luo move from Jerusalem downward. During the Juba peace talk, I happened to meet the chief of Pajok, Sudan. The chief gave me some history concerning that migration. He said, actually, because of our color, the, the, these white people, especially among the, the Jews, the Arabs, were despising. And they were every time looking down at us, the black. That was one of the reasons that the Nihilotics decided to migrate and come down wide. Then they, there was a, a war that they fought before they crossed the Red Sea. And when they reached a point after crossing the Red Sea, the Yemenians were the people who fought the, Nilo, the, the Nilotic so much, according to him. He said, after that settlement, the Yemen followed them again, pushing them downwards. And indeed, as Bishop said, Emeritus, when they reach Khartoum, that's where the, the Luo said, Man no Khartoum, Pacho. They decided to stay there, but they were fighting among, together with their other ethnic uh, Nilotics uh, uh, tribes. He narrated that when they pushed downward, the Nubian decided to remain on the Nubian mountain. Say, for us, it's enough, we are not proceeding now. So they remain there. He said, in the past, when the Arabs started buying we as slaves, when they were moving with the Bantus, the Bantus, there was no problem. But one time when they reached with the Acholis on that market, the Nubian heard Acholis speaking Luo. They said, oh, these are our, our uncles. We came together. So they, they mobilized themselves, fought, and mark an end to that market. That was what the chief narrated to me of Pajok. So I would like to humbly appeal to our Paramount chief, because I know there were ethnic group that the British actually brought as fighters. Those were the Nubians, and they, stayed, they settled in Patiko. And they were welcome and well accommodated. Actually, uh, really accom the Luo are accommodative. Tribes that accommodate. They settle in Achuli land. Not until Amin, President Amin, overthrew Bote. After the overthrow, the relationship that was very good later on saw it down. And we must think about reconciliation. Because in actually, there's this actually culture, whoever eats from your home, in your house, is already part of you. But this community, indeed because of sharing just religion, vitamin, led to a very, very big problem. After the overthrow of Amin, they suffered retaliation. And most of them ran into exile. And they came back. Since they came back, they were not accommodated and given opportunity for a reconciliation. But it is very important that I humbly appeal that reconciliation aspect as the Paramount, uh, the Prime Minister of, uh, of K. Kwarolango, as mentioned, is what this foundation must think about. 
Thank you very much. I don't have much. Because partnerships is very important.